All right, Hoover and I, we're gonna take off. We're gonna go get some scripts from Tracy, go get some milk, and uh, mail off a letter. And then we're gonna come back and get those uh, elephant ears put away. All right, Hoover's inside getting Tracy's script, so I'm just waiting on him. In fact, there he is. All right, Hoover just walked in. He's gonna take care of the mail, and then I got a lady who's got some questions, so I'm gonna answer them for her. Hold on, people. Yep, sure enough, she did, uh, you know, stop over and seen the van and wanted to know what a fish rescue was, so interesting. All right, so right after that, we'll head right up the street there to Mark's, and we'll pick up the gal and ask for the girls uh, that are staying for the weekend. And we'll get back, and we'll get those plants brought in, the elephant ears, and the uh, canna lilies will come in as well. Once I remembered, and guess what? They got some little necks. So uh, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna buy a pack and feed Lavaca, and the rest is gonna go home with me, and me and Dawn are gonna eat them. <laughs> I love clams. All right, Hoover and I are done running around taking care of that stuff, and I did buy a bag, and we're gonna feed my girl. She's finally gonna get her little necks. So let's give her some clams and see how this goes. Hoover, go ahead and open up the lid, would ya? Here you go, girl. Here, baby girl. There you go. Yeah, you see it, honey. You know what it is. Yeah. Go get it. You got to turn it around oh. and it up. Gotta get it the right side. Oh. When she does crack it, we should be able to hear it. Funny girl, crack it, eat it. Look at her, she's holding it. <laughs> eat, honey. <laughs> Come on, girl, crack that baby open and eat it already. That's the whole thing. Waiting for her to crack it, waiting for her to eat it. Last time I did this, I think I did 20, 25 minutes worth of filming. Come on, sweetheart, you can do it. You know, I didn't ask Rich neither. She might have just got fed too. Looks like she's more interested in watching the camera. He ain't letting go of it, that's for sure, but then... <laughs> well, I finally go out and get her the little clams. Again, I don't know if she's been fed recently, because she sure is acting like it. And she should be able to just snap that thing open just like that. But in the meantime, all she's done is held it in her mouth for, let's see, it's going on seven minutes now. <laughs> And just, you know, kind of checking me out. She's dropped it once or twice like that. She'll play with it and drop it and pick it back up. But, I mean, <laughs> I finally get her what she wants, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. But in the meantime, uh, I'll go over and we'll go see those peacock cichlids I rescued from PA with Mike. We'll check in on Chip and see how he's doing. Because uh, I understand his, um, uh, the person, uh, Bill, who we got him from, I believe, is going to be headed our way next week, I'm pretty sure. He uh, likes to travel now. In fact, that was the reason for giving up the fish, uh, because of his traveling. So he might be stopping in and visiting and uh, saying hi to us. So, come on, girl, crack that baby open. I know you can, man. And she just wants to play with it. So, 
we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go check them guys out here. Hey, here's the peacock uh, cichlid. And there's also that red-tailed shark, which only grows to be about six inches from what I was reading, so I'm really curious on what Richard and the are going to do with that. The rest of them, I know they got to be going in the tank. And even with the door shut, you still get a little bit of reflection, but not much I can do about that. And then, of course, right next door, that's where we stuck Chip, but he's a bashful little dude. He won't come out much. He's hiding back there by the sponge filters. But we're getting the color back home. What's up, buddy? Yeah, your dad should be by this week and come see ya. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, if we had a nice light, boy, you'd really see his colors popping. Beautiful fish. Alrighty. Catch it right up in front today. Look at that, all of them, even these guys. Normally they're hiding in the back. And normally one of them's upside down. It looks like he's dead half the time. <laughs> uh, there's the fire eel. Most of the shares are hiding up in there. Uh, not sure where the black spotted eel is. The turtle hiding way up here in the corner. Got the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everybody likes the camp. No, no, they don't like the camera. They think they're getting fed. That's all. <laughs> all right, we know better. Uh, yeah. And of course the discus. Plants are starting to grow again in here now. And then we have the angel tank. I think this one's empty. That one did have that red-tailed Asian cat or something in it. Of course, arrays, everybody, they think they're getting fed, especially if you, like, cap the side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then you really think they're getting fed. Sorry, boys. <laughs> okay. I can't believe she's still holding it in her mouth. <laughs> can't believe it. Unbelievable. What's up, that? You know what it is about the dad knowing their eyes? They got cool eyes. Yeah. I'm just not finishing these up. I gotta freeze up. <laughs> yeah. Beavis and Butthead. Ah, yeah. Look at that teeth. Let's see if we can zoom in on his teeth. Hopefully that comes in pretty good, but boy, I sure can see him. Wait till he gets bigger. <laughs> oh, last but not least, 4400. Everybody doing just fine. Alright, well, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the... Uh, well, I'm not. I'm gonna film. Uber's gonna. I'm gonna head give my hand, but we we'll get to get the elephant here and the two lily uh, canna lilies out and put them in here to the pool room. Of course, as soon as they turn around, guess what? We heard a noise, and yeah, she ate the darn thing. Well, at least she ate it. I was beginning to think she wasn't hungry or something. So, Uber, grab another man. I'll open it up. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can get a crack in this one. 
Unbelievable. This is like just cracking open already. Eat it. <laughs> All right, well, let's go move these plants. I'm sure I'll come back and it'll be gone. But at least she's eating some clams. She got a treat. All right, we're going to rearrange some of the things and make some room over in there and get these uh, plants brought in for wintertime. One, two, two three, three, four, four five. five. And maybe a six. Six, I don't yeah. Know. I think and six. the two candles, so. <laughs> Whatever one you want to grab first. You know what? If you go down there, you can hand me the can of lilies from there up here. We can do that. The elephant ears are going to have to come around. Yeah, I already know. Okay. Actually, we could take this off. Yeah, we can get them up. Back. Hold on a second. Let's... Mm. This will be much easier. We can bring them up here and then get them inside. Oh, well, that one just kind of fell over then. Yeah. Look at how monstrous it is. Roots. It's, it's growing roots. We're going to need a knife or something to cut them roots. Okay. All the way around there. Do you have yours? No. Nope. Think mine will be big enough? Give it a go. I know it's got roots on it, you know what I'm saying? Alright. See the roots. <laughs> that pot is way too small for that son of a gun now. <laughs> it's huge, that's an edible. You're gonna, you know, yeah, it was underneath the canna lilies. You're gonna lose one or two. Don't, you can try and do the best. If you can bring the pot up first and keep those ears away from us, the way it's bent. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, big dead bulb is, oh my god. <laughs> it's out of control. <laughs> No, no, that's a flagstaff that can actually uh, stay there. All right, here's another one. Right here. But there should be another can of lily. Yeah, right here. Yeah, there it is. Hide and it fell over. It looks like. Cut it as close as you can right there. You might as well. Who? Otherwise, it's not going to sit in the container. I know. <laughs> it might not, anyways. These things need transplanting really, really bad. It was one little plant in there. Some of it's wet wood. All right, Hoover. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, he's gonna have a hell of a time. Ooh, dude, not bad. That one didn't have as many roots, huh? It had some on it, yeah.
careful now. But if not, I'm filming, man. <laughs> Don't cut that hoof! Dude, look at how big that one is. It's so big it's out of control. It's not gonna know, it's getting perfect. <laughs> no, we need a. I'm serious, go look at the pot. You can't even stand it up. It was the original, the first original ball. Remember, we stripped it and made these others? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that thing's still the original big bulb that grew even more. All right. All right, there's the last one. Uh, Hoover's gonna cut the roots off of this one as well. And then we'll get them a little more trimmed up out here while they're on That's the porch. There's a lot of roots on there. Yeah, there is. And then uh, look at that frog go. <laughs> he was hiding in there. And we'll clean them up a little bit and get the dead leaves off this and that and get them inside. Yeah, because frogs one tonight. Just came from all right, we got this one trimmed, that one trimmed. Rich already took that one in, and one of the it. Took the, the, and the one can lily and an elephant ear. Going to trim this one up, and trim those two up, and get them all in. We're good for now. For now. Yeah, Hoover just cleaned up all the mess, basically, from us cleaning up those plants. Looks kind of bare without all the big ones, big leaves. Uh, they're inside. And now they're inside and good to go for the winter time. Okay. Oh, we gotta get these candle really put up somewhere. I set them here because we gotta repot them. Yeah, they <laughs> way overgrew their pots. But they've been growing really good. They were only that big when we bought them yeah. two years ago. This is the second or third winter. Awesome. So it's literally, literally been, I don't know, 40 minutes or so, me and Hoover went out to the back deck, got all the plants out, brought them up, trimmed the roots, trimmed the plants, brought them in, so it took a bit. And she's still holding that clam. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it, but hey, apparently she's happy because it's in her mouth, so. That's all that counts. I want to make my girl happy. <laughs> See if I can sneak up on the tortoises. That's one relaxed tortoise. <laughs> Pretty sure they're getting rid of this system here. That's why some of it's disappearing and there's no water. Yeah, little dude looks, I mean, uh, little foot looks so cool, his legs are all spread out. Now that's a comfortable little tortoise boy. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty, and we'll check in. Baby Ray, see how they're doing. Oh, look at that, they're curious. They think I'm going to feed them too now. Look at that one. Right up on the side. Okay. Alright, well, we'll 
get all this put together and get a video out for you guys. Rich and them going to do the uh, live show tonight. It is Friday. And then, uh, yeah, because the trip did get canceled for uh, Michigan. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. But, yeah, we were supposed to have that trip, but didn't go that way. But when they get back, we're going to take care of it because uh, we have a special thing we're doing up there. Uh, I'm not sure if Rich wants to let that out of the bag yet or not. But you guys stay tuned, uh, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get this video made and put out. All right. All right, Lou from uh, OCA and his buddy stopped by, so Rich is giving them a tour. So I'm going to get my butt out of here and go make this video for you guys. Uh, we didn't get the camera put up right there, but we'll get that, no problem. We're just bettering, uh, putting a better one up, no, no big deal. All right, everybody, you guys stay fishy, and I'll get this video made. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, bummer on a trip. Lo uh, Dawn just fed her tank, so all the loaches are out. So I thought I'd do that. And uh, she's got a new addition. Yeah, she took my tangerine koi uh, beta. <laughs> she's like, no, 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 that one's mine. And, you know, her tank's, of course, always doing awesome. One other thing I was noticing, and then she noticed it, is, you know, I know the Madagascar lace looks like it's going dormant. However, I kept seeing that. So, if you open it up, it's hard to see in there, but let's see if we can do it. It bloomed again. And I just tipped my phone in the water, so I'm not going to do it again. But yeah, it bloomed again. Third bloom on that. So, awesome. Alright, everybody. You guys stay fishy, my friends. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. And we'll go deeper with a reaper.